So welcome to this week's One Image My Edit. And this week I'm going to be showing you how to create what I'm calling the Ace of Spades. So this is a an edit or preset that you can create that gives you a real deep, deep, dark black vibe to your images. And I think it's really, really interesting. It's something that I've been working on for about two or three weeks now. And I really, really like the results. You can use this on everything. I've just chosen the flowers because just because um, I like the oranges and the yellows that are in this. And this was the uh, the base image that I've used for uh, to design this preset. But you can use this on portraits, you can use this on cars, you can use this on landscapes, there's loads of different applications. So I'm gonna reset this and I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. So first thing we wanna do is come up to us come up to the starting point up here so we're going to work in the basic module i'm going to boost some contrast up into this image uh, to around plus 50. i really really love contrasting images so that's why i've done that let's bring these highlights up a little bit not too much and i am going to bring the whites down simply because obviously there's a lot of white in there and i want to make sure that we're really giving black the perfect opportunity to pop. So I'm gonna bring the whites down to minus 80, gonna bring the blacks down to around minus 20. So not a lot, we're gonna do majority of the work in the tone curve and in the HSL panel there. But you can see I'm just suppressing them, them shades a little bit. Let's add some texture and clarity. So let's go up to just plus 20 on each, not, not too much. There we go, plus 20 on each, that's good. And then the vibrance and saturation. I'm gonna bring them down a little bit. So vibrance to around minus 10, saturation, maybe a little bit more, start stripping some of that color away. So minus 30, there we go. So if you look at that, just as a before and after, you can see what I've done there is just pull down them white tones really deepened them blacks and just added a lot of contrast there and just taking some of that color away. And that actually looks quite nice as it is. Um, that's quite a nice starting point for us at least. So moving on to the tone curve then, like I said, this is gonna be a um, uh, majority of the work with regards to the contrast of the image. So I'm gonna make three points. So the white, the grays, and then the blacks. And I'm gonna start with the whites and I'm gonna pull them quite steep. So I'm almost going to the second box uh, across here. You can see this is one grid here and then I divided up. So I'm aiming for about the second box. So it's quite a steep adjustment there. Then to the grays, I'm gonna pull them down a little bit and go in to around the first box there. And then the blacks, I'm gonna pull them quite deep around to the second box down. So we're still getting quite a nice curve there. And the blacks, I'm just gonna push them up probably one or three points, so you can see the output there. So it's just ever so slightly matting the blacks, but it's not um, it's not too much. Okay, that looks quite good. So again, that is, that is quite a steep curve. Um, we could bring the blacks up a little bit if we wanted to, to around there, and that's probably a little bit better there. But yeah, that's quite a nice curve and that's given us a really good contrast. So if we look at the before and after of that, you can see it does a massive, massive job with them blacks. You can see what it's doing. It's given us a really, really nice dark effect there, which is what we're going for, funny enough. So let's move on to the colors then. I'll start with the hues. So it's mainly the middle section that I'm gonna be working on. So the oranges, I'm going to bring them down minus 20. I'm going to keep some in there um, within that sort of range. The yellows, greens and aquas, I'm going to go minus 100 on each. Okay, that looks good. And then let's go over to the saturation. So red, I'm going to bring that down to around minus 10. That's quite yeah, that's that's good. And also some of these um, some of these steps you might want to stop. Like for instance, this this would be uh, another adjustment, another preset that you could kind of save as you go along. That's actually quite nice. Um, that's got like a red 
sort of coffee look to it hasn't it so you you, you can you can stop halfway and uh, if you like any of these looks then just stop save them and then and then continue playing with them later on so let's jump to the yellows i'm going to bring the yellow all the way out 100 percent greens i'm gonna i'm gonna go to around minus 50 so i'm not going to completely take it away um because i think it's important that we have some green in there that's it and then let's go to the blues i think i'm going to take them out fully say with the magenta and purple but maybe just leave some in there so let's go to minus 80 on each there we go because we want some of that shade shade of color in there and let's go to the luminance of so the brightness of this so let's bring the reds down minus 10 let's bring them oranges up a little bit you can see them them flowers there are, are popping so let's go to around mine plus 30 31 well, that's quite good and then i think the greens aquas and blues let's just drop them to minus 30 each okay and what i've found is just by dropping them that's enough we don't need to do anything to the purple or magenta anymore so if we look at that what we've done color wise you can see that we have uh, stripped a lot of that color away and that's that's given us that dark brown look we could uh, if we wanted to come back to the yellows and push that up if we wanted to add a little bit more color to it so you can see there with the yellow I've completely taken it away which kind of gives it a, a color pop look so if you wanted to you could and depending on your image you could leave the yellow uh, um, a little bit more so it's not not a hundred percent so just minus sort of 50 uh, we can do we can do that leave that there for now and then come back to that if we want to really strip all of the color out <clears throat> so let's go to the color uh, grading and I'm going to start with the um, let's start with the global adjustment so it's this one here at the end you can see the global I'm going to type in a hue of 185 so 185 and I'm going to have a saturation of around 10 so you can see we've got this lovely uh, blue a sort of aqua color there it looks really really nice and I'm going to bring the luminance down to minus 50 so that's going to help us with a darker tone again okay so let's jump to the next one let's go with shadows so hue i'm going to type in 185 and a saturation of 10. there we go so we're still using this same color and that looks really really nice and the luminance i'm going to bring that down to minus 100 and let's go to the mid-tone so this i'm going to put a hue of 30 in and i'm going to have a saturation of around 10. so there we go. you can see we've got this uh, lovely sort of orange color and you can see from the color wheel that that is an opposite so that's why it's uh, that's why it's going to work because it's an opposite color and it's only a tint of color let me get that right again so around see it's easier sometimes just to type it in there we go so that's given us a really really nice tone so if you look at the before and after again you'll see what we've done we're stripping color away again but we're adding um, tones back in and you can see that mainly if you look uh, let's go in a little bit closer around here where these leaves are you can see what that's doing so that's the before and that's the after so you can actually see the uh, the greens coming through um, and the lovely blue tinges that's what's causing this so it looks it looks really really nice in my opinion anyway so yeah that looks really good so we're getting there so the next thing I want to do is come down and treat the noise reduction so I'm going to give this about plus 20 same with the color I always do that just because whenever you're stripping colors away like this we just want to make sure there's no noise because of it sometimes you can create noise um, when you're messing around with the colors and things it just can ruin the shot right so let's go back up to the hsl panel and this yellow here so a minute ago i said that you could you can use this as a bit of a gauge really for for however you want 
uh, your image to look. So if if we go to minus 100, which was my original edit, that looks good. That gives us a really, really dark, deep black look. But at the minus 50, which is a halfway point, we've got some color there. And if we bring it back to zero, you can see there that we, we've still got a lot of color, um, but the blacks are, are really deep black. But because of this uh, tutorial, so that I was going to show you how to get this sort of ace of spades black, I'm going to go to minus 100. And uh, yeah, I think that looks really, really nice. So let's come back up and we can make a few adjustments uh, with the exposure. I think I'm just going to bring that up to, yeah, just, just a little bit there. And the shadows, we can possibly just darken them a little bit. Minus 20, that looks quite good. And let's have a look at these blacks, maybe go minus 30. So I'm just tweaking this now um, and you can do the same once you get to this stage of the image. But that is how you do it. So like I said, majority of the work is done within the tone curve there. Um, that makes a big, big difference with the contrast and obviously the colors here, just stripping away some of them colors gives us a, uh, uh, an opportunity to bring out some of the colors but also darken these black tones and the same with the color grading we're basically adding if you look at the different colors that we're adding we're adding this kind of uh, sort of aqua color there and a little bit of warmth in the mid-tones uh, and the global just again this aqua color and it just it just works really really well you can see there that's just literally color adjustments so it shows you how important color is so if we look at this as a before and after you can see there the 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 end result and it looks really really interesting it's a very uh, very unique way of editing because you are stripping a lot of colors away but like I said you can use this for portraits you can use this for pretty much anything landscapes um, uh, cars cityscapes building architectures that kind of stuff and it's uh, yeah it's a really really unique way of, um, of processing your images so once you've done that um, you can then literally come up to here click create preset you can save your preset and then use that wherever you want on different images so i hope that's helped and i will see you all on the next video take care bye bye